Hi, and welcome back to another PB&J card class. This week on the blog, we'll be focusing on gift tags, and I've created a set of 12 tags using Penny Black brush stroke stamps, distress stains, and distress inks. And here's a look at some of the stamps we'll be using today. And here's a peek at those 12 tags. We'll begin by creating this tag. To start with, I'll take Penny Black Pine Silhouettes, and I'm beginning by inking this with the Peeled Paint Distress Stain. And when I put this on, I want to see some of those puddles in there. That's what gives us the watercolor look. Now I'm taking Peeled um, Distress Stain in Forest Moss and Vintage Photo and just adding those onto the stamp. I'll take my tag and stamp this into the bottom right-hand corner. And you can see that's real wet there, so you want to give that time to dry. And if you missed a little area, you can just smear it over with your finger. And we're going to do the same thing and stamp the top of the tag. So in between each time I'm cleaning off the stamp, I'm starting with peeled paint. And now forest moss along the edges. And then finally I'll take vintage photo and just add it in a few spots. I'll turn and I'll stamp this straight down onto that corner. And you will see some areas where it's real wet. You just want to let that sit and dry. You could speed it up with your heat gun. Now that that's dry, I'm taking Distress Ink in the color of Wild Honey. And I'm just inking over those areas from the top and the bottom. I'm using the foam applicator pad. I'm just adding that Wild Honey. And I decided here to add a little bit more to that center area. Next, I'll take Peeled Paint Distress Ink and just darken up this corner over here and also a little bit at the top. Next is brushed corduroy and I'm going to apply this in a light layer over the entire tag and just a little bit heavier in that center area where it kind of has a white glow. This is walnut stain and this is going around the outer edges and then I'm just going to keep adding that and hold it up in my hand and dab that along all the edges. Next, you're ready for our sentiment. This is Your Season by Penny Black, which I'm inking with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm going to stamp this right down into that open area. And here's another look at that tag once it's dry and finished. Here's the next tag we'll be creating. We'll begin with Penny Black Stamp Winter Scroll. And I'm going to color the whole thing with Peeled Paint Distress Stain, making sure I've got sort of the um, puddles of ink. Now I'm going to take Broken China and just add a few dabs of that around the edges of the leaves. Next I'll take Fired Brick and just dab that along where the berries are. And I'm just going to stamp this onto my tag, go straight down, and lift straight up. I'll show that again. I'll make sure to clean it off in between each time I stamp and then I'll color on the whole thing with the peeled paint distress stain. I'll add broken china to the tips of just a few of those leaves and then fired brick just a dab of that where those berries are. And I'll go ahead and turn and stamp the tag again. And then I'm going to do this a couple more times and you'll see that here uh, when we get to that. And those puddles of ink just let those dry or speed that up with your heat gun and that'll add to the effect. There you can see I've added a couple more spots where I've stamped. And now I'm taking Broken China Distress Ink and going over just parts of the tag. I don't want to cover the whole thing, but I just want to add a few parts on the tag. Next I'll take Brushed Corduroy, and in the areas that are white, I'm going to apply the Brushed Corduroy ink so we get sort of a multicolored background with the blue and the brown. And then I am going to very lightly just go over that edge there with the brush corduroy. Now this is the Penny Black Music background, which I'm inking with the brush corduroy as well. 
And then before I stamp that, I'm going to take a baby wipe and just randomly wipe off some of the ink. And we'll just stamp that straight down onto the tag and lift up. Finally, I just want to add some walnut stain around the edges just to finish this tag off. And here's another look at that finished tag. Now I'll give you a peek at each of the tags from the set of 12. Thanks so much for watching. For details and more information, visit www.pennyblackink.com.